Well hello, hello gardeners and welcome to another episode of In Your Garden with Dawson's. Today we're going to look at rose pruning. Now in Perth you can prune your roses any time from about mid-June through till about mid-August. But before we start, let's have a look at some of the bits of equipment you're going to have to use to get the job done. The most important thing, a good sharp pair of secateurs. You want to use these scissor type secateurs because they deliver a really nice clean cut. The other things you'll find incredibly helpful are a small sort of folding saw. These are really useful for getting in down the bottom of the roses and cutting off old wood. They make, make your life a lot easier. And the other thing I'd recommend is a pair of shorter long handled loppers. These make it really easy to remove some of the big old woody canes around the bottom of the bush. So we're ready to start. Um, what, I'd, what I'd say the best thing to do would be do the easiest things first. So what I'll do first is actually just go around. I'm just going to very quickly take off about the top third of the growth um, off the rose so we can see what we're looking at. So you don't really have to worry about too much where you're making the cuts. I'm just trying to reduce some of the, the volume here so I can see what I'm doing. So there we go, we've sort of opened up the bush a little bit more and we can see a little bit more what's going on. So what you want to do then is actually work around the bush in a circular pattern and we're going to cut these branches back. Now we want to cut the rose back by about um, at least two thirds to uh, one third its original height. So what I'll do is work down each of these major canes and what we're looking for is nice outward facing buds. So you can see one here. So we just want to make a sort of a slightly angled cut a couple of, couple of millimetres above these nodes which you can see where there's this slight swelling there and if you can't see the node there's always a leaf just above it so that'll tell you where it is. So we're looking for, we're looking for some nice well spaced branches so we also want to remove any old, old wood or diseased or crossing branches so you see this one here I'm just going to take this one off the top just to open that up nicely there. And we've got a nice, a nice young shoot here. You can see it's got this, this nice glossy green wood, so I'm just going to again look for a nice outward facing bud there. It doesn't really matter where you make your cut, I mean some people say on an angle or it can be a flat cut, it doesn't really make any difference to the rose. Now this is where your saw comes in handy because you get any little knobbly bits like that, the saw is really handy just to get in there and clean up the jolt, clean up the canes. branch down there too. I'll take off. Now we also generally want to remove any wood that's growing into the centre because we want to get we want to get that air and light into the centre of the bush. So these 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 branches right in the middle I'm going to take them out straight away. Another nice outward facing bud there down here. It's a good idea to pull the old leaves off if you can do that. It helps put the roses into sort of hibernation mode for the winter. So here we've got a branch that's a bit too close to the other one there so just sort of nip that back a bit. And down there. Always just look down the, the canes you'll be able to see where the, the nodes or the buds are. And here we've got a lovely lovely vigorous new shoot so this is really good replacement wood so I'm just going to pull those leaves off to tidy it up so we can see what's going on. It's a nice outward facing bud there. So there we go we're almost done just pull off the rest of the leaves. I'm going to cut off any of these little growths down the bottom that aren't going to amount to anything. And there we go so that's what we're looking for. We've opened up the bush we've got a nice sort of framework of branches in a circular shape around the bush. We've opened up the middle outward facing buds so we're going to have a lovely shape on that bush as it regrows this spring. Now to finish off what we would recommend is that you give the, uh, give the rose bush once you've pruned it a good spray with lime sulphur so make that up spray up and down the canes and that just seals them and, and gets them stops some of the overwintering fungus and things that can start up again in spring. So the main thing don't be afraid to have a go because rose pruning really is the kindest cut of all and it's always an invigorating process, invigorating process for the rose. 
So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it, get in and have a go. And remember, there's truly a rose for everyone at Dawson's.